Well, it seems like a whole lifetime ago now, but I was 23 years old when Jesus grabbed hold of me and revealed to me that he was true for the first time and I started following him in life. Uh, his call on my life to follow him as one of his disciples and his call into vocational ministry were, for me, almost simultaneous. Within six months of becoming a Christian, I was training for vocational ministry at a local church out in the country. That call of my life is as strong today as it was nearly 28 years ago now. And I am to this day still very grateful for the Anglican minister and his wife and many others who took someone so young in the faith and someone so young in life and trained me to be a disciple and trained me for gospel ministry. In fact, he and his wife taught me what it is to have a gospel vision for all of my life and instilled a passion for gospel clarity in life and in ministry. One of their convictions, which was played out for me, was the responsibility for each generation to raise up the next generation of gospel workers. It's a conviction that they instilled in me. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, the Apostle Paul charges the young Timothy with this. The things that you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. don't know if you noticed it, but there are four generations of passing on gospel legacy in that brief statement. The minister who set me on a path for vocational ministry died a few years ago, and yet his gospel legacy lives on through a number of young men who, who followed him into vocational ministry, uh, not to say about the number of people who were converted and became disciples under his ministry. It, it, it sort of feels a little bit odd for me <laughs> to feel that the tables are now turned and Ash and James are around the age when I first started following Jesus. And frankly, both of them are just streaks ahead of where I was at their age. And so I'm excited to see not just what God will do with them in our time here at St. Paul's, but also into the future. Ash and James are known to us. They are respected. They have grown up amongst us and served us in so many ways. It is our privilege now to partner with what God is doing in them and through them now here at St. Paul's. It is my hope that God would use them to raise up the next generation of gospel trustees amongst us. But in partnering with them now, we also partner in whatever work God calls them to do into the future. As the people in Narrabri did with me 28 years ago, we are seeking to raise $65,000 by the end of March now, so far, we have around 10% of that in order to invest in Ash and James and gospel ministry. Now, it is a, a project that you want to invest in for your eternal joy. Imagine meeting someone in heaven and discovering that they started following Jesus because of someone who was ministered to by someone who one of these guys ministered to. An investment now will produce dividends of joy right to the end of time. And so I call on us as a church to give generously today.